Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. I was just given this information from an anonymous party, uh, and I'm going to share it with you because I think this very well may be uh, a way for us to defend ourselves against drones. Uh, it's been shown that you can hijack planes with an Android phone. Now, I I'm not a tech guy. You guys know that. I barely function the video stuff and whatever. But uh, I'm going to read this to you, and you techie people will know what to do. Um, you know, if we can, uh, and I was going to avoid the whole Android iPhone and all that because it's insecure and it's clicky and it's excessive and it's not humble. Um, but let me tell you, if I can uh, figure out how to use a phone and take one of those Androids and turn it around and drive it into the ground, well, I just might have to, uh, you know, get a little clicky. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Extremely well-attended talk by Hugo Tesso, a security consultant at Enruns AG in Germany, about the completely realistic scenario of plane hijacking via a simple Android app has galvanized a crowd attending the Hack in the Bonx conference in Amsterdam today, and this was posted April 10th. Uh, Tesso, who has been working for IT for the last 11 years, has been trained uh, as a commercial pilot for a year longer than that, has combined his two interests in order to bring to light the sorry state of security of aviation computer systems and communication protocols. By taking advantage of two tech new two technologies for the discovery information gathering and exploitation phases of the attack, and by creating an exploit framework, Simon, and an Android app, Planesploit, uh, that delivers attack messages to the airplane's flight management system. Uh, he demonstrated to a terrifying ability to take control of aircrafts by making virtual planes dance to his tune. One of the two technologies he used is the automatic dependent surveillance broadcast, which sends information about each aircraft through an onboard transmitter to air traffic controllers and allows air traffic equipped with the technology to receive flight traffic and weather information about other aircrafts currently in the air in their vicinity. The other one is the Aircraft Communications Addressing and Reporting System, which is used to exchange messages between aircrafts and air traffic controllers via radio or satellite. Uh, let's see, I lost my place. As well as to automatically deliver information to each flight phase to the latter. Both of these technologies are massively insecure and are susceptible to a number of passive and active attacks. Tesso misused the ADS B to select targets in the ACARS to gather information about the onboard computer as well as to exploit its vulnerabilities by delivering spoof malicious message that affect the behavior of the plane. That's outstanding. Uh, I gotta learn stuff, folks. You know, so I, anyway, I'm gonna link you to this. Um, I, I just think that uh, this is very useful information and I mean, if they're gonna just do whatever the hell they want and start flying planes around over me to surveil me. Well, I mean, you know, I think that it's time to take action about against that type of stuff. And if you can do it without killing anybody, well, that's even better. So anyway, much love, many thanks. Links will be below.